Yo, what's going on guys? It is your boy Blaze. Uh, this video is just going to be kind of like a uh, like a talk through. So I got like a really nice win. I really pop off. I did a really good game in uh, the solo cash cup. Um, today is dream hack, but uh, I wanted to just talk about, oh my gosh, that voice crack. I just wanted to go over the games, uh, the game that I, I, I did really well in, explain what I did wrong, what I did right. Um, so this was actually the only game I went misty. I only went misty because I was really struggling. As you can see, my points were extremely low, and I was looking. I really needed this pop-up game. I didn't qual. I, I didn't uh, make any money off of this, but I felt like I learned a lot about how to play cash cups because I feel like it's a less professional style of of tournament. So. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go through every kill, every every play that I got, what I did wrong, what I did right. So right here, this guy starts to actually try to pickaxe me, but luckily I built the ramp and he just started teabagging. I think he knew he knew he had, had wasn't gonna win that one. Um, it was a free kill basically. When you, in that situation, he definitely shouldn't have landed on me, just because I had every advantage in the world, I'd already landed. But uh, yeah pop heels because I, I hear so many people around me um, uh, if you see in the bottom right my weapon weapons haven't loaded in and this I have to this is what I was what I'm thinking here is I have to be very careful because on console if your weapons haven't loaded in sometimes the game will not let me shoot my guns but now that my le weapons have loaded in I can shoot them um, and this has happened in many tournaments where my guns haven't loaded in and I can't shoot Also, if the game like skips a bit, uh, sometimes I, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going to cut very much of this video. I will cut some of it, but I don't think I'm going to cut much. But uh, yeah, I see this kid. He's in the, the bottom floor and I, see, I hear him coming up the stairs. Pretty simple kill, um, but I think he head dinked me, which is why I, was, I lost a lot of health. I think he double dinked me or something. And by the way, this is a platform cash cup. And as you guys know, I'm on um, console. So this entire time, I'm aware that, uh, that I'm playing against only controller players. As you can see, it skipped a little bit there. That's because um, sometimes when I like freeze in game or drop, start dropping frames, my recording or PlayStation recording seems to like kill itself see I dropped the tack there because or the charge um, at the t at the time of starting this game I was I uh, right before that I've been playing with my friend and I was we were doing charge shock on 1v1s and I couldn't beat him to save my life so I was like you know I'll play it safe I'll just take attack here a uh, decent peace control from me this guy boxing up I take his cone but he decides to drop down this fight I actually played it really badly because I let him get a lot of free tags off on me unfortunately for him he played this bad as well like right here he's just p90 spamming or smg spamming and I almost lost that but uh end up getting the kill because he was so focused on the the, sp the spam which if you are a controller player I don't recommend you always do because something like that will happen where you don't realize what position you're in and you just spam and end up losing the fight because of it so I go over here I hear that people are fighting um, I take my time getting to this fight because I don't want to rush into a fight with not he not much health because in my mind right here I'm thinking okay I don't have the full HP that I've had for the past two fights and in those fights I've almost lost them right here I'm trying to get around here without using mats without uh, uh, making too much noise but I was just like screw it whatever so I hear I see this kid cranking he drops down 
to go for an angled shot, so I drop a little bit. I think. Yeah, I spray that and then I drop. I don't think I get any tags off. I think he starts cranking, yeah. Oh, right here I messed up my edit, but I got the cone off. I got a, a tag. One thing that I've noticed is that a lot of kids in these kind of cash cups, especially controller players, play it like creative wagers. Uh, sorry, it skipped a little bit there, guys. Um, but I just got a little tag off on him. That's pretty much all that happened. Free kill. Dude, I don't know what he was doing. I, think he don't, I don't think he had mats. And one thing that I really want to tell you guys uh, as you see I'm holding crash pads here is crash pads are extremely useful for competitive um, unfortunately epic has decided to make you know there are a bunch of items in the, in the game excuse me that can't really that shouldn't really be in the game but they are anyway like crash pads are one of them they used to only be in pubs now they're in competitive as well they're insanely good for ex exploding into people's boxes, insanely good for rotation. Um, rotation wise, they're only really good at end game because um, early game, most people will just spray you out of midair. End game, you might be able to break some builds and get a quick rotate instead of using a pad or if you don't have a pad, it's good. So right here, I see that zone goes in a direction where I can just grab a boat. Um, obviously I get shot by marauders, um, but here I'm actually really worried, in my mind I'm thinking, okay, I need to rotate quickly here and then get out of the boat, um, I'm sorry it skipped a little bit, um, but I was, like, co constantly looking towards caddy because I'm thinking there might be a kid coming from caddy, a shockwave, and, uh, charge, who could kill me if he's just coming out of caddy you know just to get to zone that's why I was looking back a lot and right here I think my I see somebody fighting and I decide not to engage and just to try to get to zone cuz yeah I think right here oh no this fight actually um, is the weirdest fight I've ever had um, basically played ring around the rosy and then uh, one kid was just hiding in his box. Um, that all, it, it's basically just controller and the IQ of some controller players. Some, I didn't say all, but some controller players just have very low IQ. I mean, some keyboard players as well, but. So I hear the gunshots. I see this big build fight. And I don't see any builds right there, so I'm like, okay, they must be under the bridge or on the other side. Then I see the kid, like, pop out right here. And I was like, oh, okay. I hit him for a little bit. He somehow hits me. Now I, I for sure under know that they're at the bottom of this. I played Ring Around the Rosie with this kid for like a whole hour practically. And then I turn around and just hit him with a couple good tack shots. He actually almost killed me. And I know that there's a kid in this box because he was playing Ring Around the Rosie with this box. And I don't know what this kid is doing, right? right I take. I, he do, I don't, I don't take, uh, take the wall, but I just. I break the wall. And he doesn't do anything. I take the cone and then he just blasts me i'm like okay there is a kid in this box I, th I thought if he was in the box he'd be in the cone or something but he's just sitting there so now i realize what kind of play style this kid has i go back and i grab the mats from this kid and it's just a long cycle of taking the wall It wouldn't let me place my build. I got a panic. I started panicking, which is something you should never do in a fight like this. So I, I saw that he was struggling to place his cone. I, I stole that. 
I edited the wall in a way that he couldn't really get a, a shot off. And he was actually like really low HP, which I was very surprised about. I thought he would be like high HP because he's been sitting in that box, but I don't think he had any heals. Um, and now I realize, okay, I'm in a decent position. I've got mats. I've got ammo. But I don't have heals. I only have two minis. And I'm pretty healthy right now. But if I get lasered, I'm going to be pretty much dead because I drink my two minis and then I have nothing left. So I try to play dead as much as possible here. Uh, dead side of, of zone. Because um, I'm on the zone, uh, side of the zone with the least amount of people. And I try to play close to as close to edge as possible. I go up this hill, I look, I see there's a kid, uh, like northish, in the lake, in that little lake area, but it's a risky push, because it's very, like, in the valley, and I see there's a build fight on top of that hill, so I'm like, my, my, my train of thought here is, okay, as long as I don't go in that valley, I should be fine, find some extra minis here, which are really big help. Um, as I'm going up this hill I'm thinking okay I can make it around and I didn't realize you slide down so I was like okay I'll just slide down with it and uh, then I'll go behind this hill here so I can get a free rotate because I see where his zone is and then I see this kid rotating out of a box that he had on the side of the map and I'm like okay if I can catch him rotating then I can maybe get a laser but instead he boxes up on edge zone so I'm like, okay, I look around to see if there's anybody hiding on edge zone with, with him. Which right here is not a very smart thing to do because I'm standing still, I can get headshot sniped. But I, I make sure that there's nobody around and I'm just like, okay, let me just W key this kid. This is a safe W key, there's nobody around. I end up making the wrong edit on my wall three times here. Or twice here. I meant to put like the like circle edit circle wall edit so I could actually keep something he actually I don't think was holding the cone he was only holding the floor this entire time take his and I think I hit him for like 60 or 80 or something try to place the cone inside his box he edits out I trap him in my box I want to place the cone above me but it, I don't think it placed Oh no, he placed a ramp for. Tries to heal. I think he edits out or something. I trap him in a box. And then he goes back into his box. And then I'm just at this point I'm just spamming. And I think I missed two tack shots or something. And then I hit him for 30 and then 75. And he had a gold tack there. He could have two tacked me. But I got lucky and made it out alive so uh now i'm chilling i have uh max max mats for everything i have minis and a big pot um and now my entire game plan from here on out is focus on placement because right now i have a decent amount of kills and decent placement right here i'm trying to look not to waste mats it's a, we it's a weird play for me. Uh, I was I was gonna look and see if there's anyone else edge zone that yeah, I could fight, but it, knowing there isn't, I'm just gonna sit here and wait for zone to play out, and then I'm gonna go out and see where the people are. Like I I'm not really focused on taking a fight right now. I'm just waiting for other people to rotate, um, so that I can uh, get easy placement. Instead of rushing out into the open, getting lasered by everyone. And I know that zone will go up this hill. Um, right here, because that's why I start early rotating before even zone hits, because I know it's going to go up this hill. And it ends up being a lake, I think. Yeah, it ends up being a lake zone. And I've already started rotating. So, I have this advantage over some people who need to rotate still I see that there's like one or two kids on top of that house so I'm like okay I just take this house um, this was actually really risky I should have built a ramp here because 
I could have gotten sniped, but luckily no one was looking at me. Um, and from here on out, it's just a lot of just waiting. I didn't really do anything for a while, I didn't get any kills. I did get a beam off, but I don't think I actually got any kills here. Um, I was just farming and setting up a box that I didn't really need to. Um, but I was just playing super safe because I knew that I had the kills. I the, the, I knew I had the kills that I basically needed. I just wanted a placement at this point. And here I'm just making sure I have max mats because I know when zone starts to go and I and I don't have time to refresh that I'm gonna be low on mats because all the times Con uh, normally a controller player the way they play is that if you are sitting out in the open and then you start building they're just gonna spray you and waste your mats I don't know some some players will do that but most of the time for me it's controller when they just try to waste your mats and then as soon as you stop building they just laser you. I look behind to see if there's anyone else coming out of zone. That way if zone pulls back that way I have almost that like security that no one else is gonna no one else is gonna be behind me so I can just quickly go and then I see that this kid right here I start shooting at him because he just landed. And I see this man is shambles. He can't build. Uh, I think he's a bot here. I see this guy land on it. And I'm like, oh, okay. I actually missed way too many shots here. I get a little bit of a beam off on this kid. And for some reason, he decides to full spray at me at one point. The reason I'm shooting him out right here is because I was like okay it must be healing but what I don't understand right here is he full sprays me even though he got zero tags off on me in the first place he just continues to spray at me um, but I actually thought zone went behind me and then I realized oh, okay it goes like southwest ish so now I'm like okay this kid is gonna hold me if I try to rotate early and I see him reset the wall. I'm like, okay. My positioning here is good. But I have... Um, I have a rotate that I don't need to pad. As long as I play it well. And... I think right here I see someone pad. And I just take advantage of that. Um... I'm, as you can see, I'm constantly looking around, seeing if there's people behind me. I start trying to early rotate. I build out of wood. I don't really need to hard tarp. This is really stupid. I shouldn't have started beaming, try to beam this kid. Um, luckily, I didn't get shot from behind, but that was really risky. I tag shot just to see if this kid was white. I see he's white. I see he looks like a bot. I crash pad into his box, but he actually got hit by the crash pad. But I ended up getting the kill, which is good. I noticed that there's an RPG I take it instead of crash pads, I have a launch already. Um, I, I see there's a kid behind me, I start cranking. The kid on height is just full sending it for me. Try to expand out, I think he starts trying to shoot me down here. But I'm chilling at this point, I hear this guy healing. Um, so I start trying to maybe get in, maybe get like a beam or something. I take his wall, RPG him. I don't think I even got this kill, I'm not sure. I don't think I did. No, I didn't, he got sniped or laser or something. I know, I see right here that he had grapple, uh, uh, he had drum and I'm like, okay, maybe he had grapple. I pick up drum by accident and I'm like, okay, he doesn't have grapple. And then I see, I hear the grapple kid grappling in right here. So I'm like, okay. Motorcycle outside, sorry guys. Like okay, I don't want to have drama end game. Drama end game is like horrible. Now I'm low ground. I have decent mats. I'm, I go. I get a little bit of a beam. I see this guy drop low ground. He unfortunately got that kill. I would have gotten one more kill that I need. Um, I grab attack that's reloaded. 
and then I pad. Try to get under these kids. Um, right here, I start. I was struggling because my bills weren't placing when I wanted them to. Um, a lot of my bills were misplacing, and I realized zone was going the opposite direction. I was like, uh oh, I made a mistake here. I rotate around this kid. I was like, okay, I could get above him. I can maybe grab height. I RPG this kid. I end up getting landed on, which I was really confused about. But then I realized, okay, this is Shockwave Kid. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna just let him have height. I realized I only have wood, and I'm like, okay, I need to drop low ground. Or at least mid ground. I see this kid healing above me. Um, it lagged a little bit, but nothing really happened. Uh, my builds weren't placing. I, I went to do like the ramp tarp and it didn't place. It didn't edit my walls here. It was just turbo building everywhere. I'm shambles right now. I have no health and then I get that kill. Uh, I realize, okay, I have no mats. I just need to play RPG on low ground. I ended up getting this kill and then I realize, okay, this is last kid. I need grappler so in case I need to get, he tries to hold me in zone. I end up grabbing RPG instead of an AR because I'm like, okay, if I can RPG him out and then grab an a uh, grapple up, that's gonna be the play. Um, I should have probably dropped a heal for instead of dropping my AR, but it worked out. Um, my grapple here, I, I know I have low mats, so I just build a one wall. And I'm being careful the entire time with the fact that he could shockwave me into zone, understanding that I have no white heals. I get a good tack shot off here, um, but unfortunately for me, he eats a flopper, I think. But I got the win. Uh, I, I feel like I played that super well, considering the fact that I'm on console. But uh, thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, make sure you do leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I'm gonna be trying to upload more of these like inside the mind type videos. Uh, you know, I love the boy Arab. So uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.